we've developed this really complicated test in this work for determining whether or not a feeling you're experiencing is yours or not. It's, it's pretty complicated, but, but if you take some time and work with it, it'll really be fruitful for you to use this. And that is the way you tell if a feeling that you're having is yours or not is, are you feeling it? If you're feeling it, what you know is that it's an energy in your physiology. And if it is unlike the condition of love, then it's one of those thumbprints that you need to be about hammering out. Now, where do those thumbprints come from? There's a workshop we do called Codependence to Interdependence. And we'll be doing that in a couple of nights here. And in that workshop, we look specifically at how that develops. But in a general way, we want to come to see where the output of our minds comes from. And so I'm going to ask you to participate in an experiment with me. And I'm going to ask you to imagine that I place about a 10-foot table up here in front of the room. And on the table, I'm going to place enough frogs that everybody in the room can reach out and pick one up. So if you would, in your mind's eye, I'm going to invite you right now to reach out on this table at the front of the room and pick up a frog from the table. Would everybody do that? And then if you would, and just one at a time, if you would describe your frog for me. Anyone? Wet. 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 It's kind of slimy, you mean? OK. Cold, all right? S slippery? Say again? I don't want to touch those frogs. Okay, I got it. <laughs> and you don't want to touch them because? They're slimy. They're slimy, you know, slimy animal kind of things, you mean? Okay, all right, I can relate to that. Anyone else? Yes? Plump. Plump, okay. Green? Green? Bumpy. Bumpy. Okay. Smelly. Smelly. Okay. Big eyes. Big eyes. Big eyed, smelly, bumpy, green, slimy, don't want to touch it kind of thing. Does that pretty well describe everybody's frog in some way, shape, or form? Actually, some people pick up, I've, I've heard them, you know, really cute frogs. They just really delight in holding them. But Okay, so now what I'd like to do is explain to you what I just put on the table. And that was that there are little cubes of styrofoam about maybe three inches by three inches by three inches. They're called frogs. They're what florists use to put flowers in when they arrange them. But notice that you didn't reach for what I put on the table. You reached for what resonated in your mind in response to the word frog. In other words, your mind has content. And that content came forward and told you, or at least you thought it told you, about what was out here on our table. But I'd invite you to notice that what it really told you was what was contained in your brain cell structure in response to the word frog. Now, my little green styrofoam cubes are actuality in terms of this work. But when I put that word forward, frog, it resonated in you the content of your mind. And so your mind served up a reality that had nothing to do with what I put on the table. I would offer that every time your mind serves up some form of hostility or fear, it is telling you about its content it is not telling you about the world you think you're looking at. 